Hey, I want to share another great idea with you from the book The Art of Living by Bob Proctor. See if you resonate with this, right? How many of us, I know I've done this, when we say, oh, I, there's no way I can do that. And if someone asks you, well, why? Because I've never done it before, right? But I got a question for you. How many things in your life are you able to do now that you were not able to do before, right? If that were true, if you cannot do something that you don't know how to do right now, <laughs> they give the example, you'll still be lay lying in your crib, right? Playing with some toys or whatever. But no, eventually, you learn how to walk, right? On your own, you stumbled, you fell, you got up, and, and eventually you learn how to walk. So why is it that sometimes, as we grow up, we think, no, there's no way I can do that. Why? Well, because I've never done it before. That doesn't seem even logic to, 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 to say that, right? Now that I think about it that way, like, it's not even logical to say it because I've never done it before. Everything we learn, we haven't done it before. Otherwise, we wouldn't be learning, right? We'd just be <laughs> relearning something. But I think sometimes... And I don't like to use the word excuses anymore. I feel, like, I feel like that's a little disrespectful to your journey, whatever you're going through, because a lot of coaches are yelling at you and saying, oh, those are just excuses. Come on, stop with the excuses and whatever. And I don't think that's very... That's a very nice way of approaching it. It just makes you feel worse. But I think sometimes we come up with those blocks that we create ourselves, right? And thinking that we can't do something, and we really sit down and analyze and, and, and look at the, the um, barrier that we think is stopping us, sometimes it could be a fear, if you really sit down and just be extremely honest with yourself, right, so just like radically honest with yourself, sometimes you get to a point where you're like, okay, it's time for me to get over this fear, get over that imagined barrier, and do it, right? And it's scary, I know it's scary as hell sometimes. But I think the more we analyze it, the more we actually look at it, and the more we learn to be okay with that fear, learn, learn to be okay with that idea that maybe the barrier is not a barrier or maybe the barrier that we think is out there is actually only in here and we created it ourselves to protect ourselves it's, there's nothing wrong with that right of course you're gonna we want to stay in that comfort zone we want to be safe right we don't want to get hurt we don't want to put ourselves out there and maybe be rejected and things like that right I get it I definitely get it I go through that all the time. But I think that maybe if we start to look at it from a different perspective, we're like, okay, maybe, maybe, just maybe, this would not be such a bad idea. Maybe I can actually follow my dreams. Maybe I can actually do what I really want to do. Maybe I can actually pursue my passion. Maybe I can actually whatever it might be for you but I think I think it's helpful to look at it that way to to start dissolving those imagined barriers right so next time something comes up that you want to do but you say I don't know how to do it I've never done it before well now maybe this can inspire you to say okay I can learn I can give it a try right it's not going to hurt. I'm not going to die. Just give it a try. So I hope that helps. Um, like I said on the other video, I really like some of the ideas in this book. I'll definitely be sharing more ideas. Uh, Bob Proctor has really, really cool ideas. So I'll put the link below for the book. You can check it out, see if you like it, see if it resonates with you, see what you think, read some reviews, and uh, let me know. Let me know what you think about this. And I'll definitely be making more videos about this book. So subscribe if you want to get notified when they come out. And that's it for today. Have a beautiful day.